Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Today I wanna to talk to you about this Pluto retrograde. Pluto's gone retrograde about a week ago. Some of you, you were feeling it the week before it even officially started going retrograde. It's gonna go on till September. And so I want to talk to you about these energies because this week there is a big push. This is going to be an emotional push. There's a few things to know about it. And there's ways to find out even more of how to support yourself. So what I teach is about your light body, your subtle bodies, about the channels that connect you both. Because there are channels like a circulatory system. So if you have a couple and you've seen pictures of this where there's an infinity symbol that is between the two and you might say, oh, that's such a sweet symbol of in the infinite love. There's actually channels that run to you two that connect you that you have to keep alive and thriving. And that is what I teach about. It keeps you thriving it's how you manifest. So there's five subtle bodies that are coming into play. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that. So a little bit about the retrograde first. This Pluto retrograde is really going to affect the feminine. And it's affecting the feminine within the larger Saturn energies. Now the feminine energies, this is going to be very subtle stuff. Almost not able to be picked up on until it becomes too much and so i'm going to have a little depiction about that how you know what some of this is it's going to be many body flare-ups things in your body that are going on which throws people off now i want to say something i don't like i don't like pain i don't like discomfort i don't think anyone else does really either Nobody really likes things that are uncomfortable. There's such a thing as pain that you are expecting, for example, if, if you fall and you expect the impact of the pain, you're going to expect that. But the unexpected, and how do you do this? And how do you get your channels open to help you easily purge this? And how do you know about it so that in the next cycle, because there will be diminishing cycles or big cycles for people depending on which wave you're in and where you're at. Where is your union at? Maybe you're just finding out about this. So are you on a twin flame journey? Have you just recently found out what some of this is all about? Have you maybe looked up soulmate or gone through a breakup and felt things with your body and you say, I don't know what's happening to me. I have anxiety. I'm nervous, I'm getting headaches, or do you know that you're supposed to change something but you don't know what and yet your life seems to have gone upside down or you met a significant person and suddenly your life seems to start changing for the better, but weird in weird ways. Some of this is very weird and odd and it's not explainable from a human level very easily. However, I do teach about that. And that is what I do in my classes and my webinars. So this will include things having to do with headaches, the mouth, your appetite, and your digestion, and your solar plexus. This retrograde is bringing you into an energy where there is a necessity to change for real. Not just temporarily change some things. We're talking about life changes not just lifestyle but changing your life for some people that's really huge for some people it is um tweaking it a bit if you've already made quite a bit of changes in your life for some people it's going to be those things that you absolutely know deep inside you you have to stop and it's going to be things like bad habits addictions fighting with people sleeping with people. People know. People know deep in their heart. You can't tell me people don't know. They do ignore things and say, don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me doing this. That happens with twin flames a lot. But people know. They know if they're overeating. They know if they're over smoking. They know if they're over drinking. 
They know it. People do know. Why? Because they still have to live with themselves. They still have to get up the next day. They still have to see how they feel. They still have to see things going on. Now, one of the things about leaving the fourth dimension is there's nothing sustaining that anymore. That means that people may fall apart with it. How do you jump out of that level? Why are you on a new timeline and then reaching in for back for old things? Don't do it. Don't go there. Don't go there. Reach for the new. Find out how. You may feel very disoriented, and there's reasons for that. There's reasons that have to do with several parts of the body. We're talking about the airy aspect here, particularly with Pluto. And the Saturn energy brings structure. Saturn is all about bringing order to the chaos, order to the scatter. That Saturn is the masculine, Pluto here is, we're talking about is the feminine. How do you bring a balance of masculine and feminine with the things that are up in the air? How do you bring it with the very airy aspect, the etheric body? That's where I come in and that is what I teach. I teach you how to get your channels open, how to keep them open and maintain them, how to live your life new, and how to get yourself thriving on a daily basis and get to that level where it's sort of seamless. Because I guarantee you when you're with your twin, it's still going to be happening. This is on whether you like it or not. If you've already met your twin, it's on whether you broke up and think it's over for good or not. It's on. So some people say, how would you, how would you really know? You have to go by how your body feels. You have to go by some of the things that are happening to you, even if they're weird things. It may be hard to focus in this energy. A lot of people are having trouble focusing or making decisions, deciding what to do first. Where are the priorities? What do I do? How do I do it? Especially if you have other responsibilities. If you have a family, if you have children, if you have a business, if you have a job, okay, are you supposed to cut things? How do you balance all of this? It's a very delicate balance for sure, and you're not expected to have a nervous breakdown about it. We're past the point for a lot of people where an actual nervous breakdown may be in store for you. You may have things still go on with your nervous system, but it may not put you in the hospital. So to give you a little idea of what some of this energy is, I have the Twin Flame players here that are ready to help assist in some understanding. And one of them is saying, huh, mm, I think something's wrong. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. It's fine. I'm fine. Hmm. She says she's fine, but I'm not quite sure she's fine. When she says fine, it usually means she's not fine. Well, I actually don't know what she means because she's not saying it. I just, I, I don't know. Is there anything I did, can do? <laughs> I, I don't. Why are you always, don't you understand? I honestly don't know what's to understand. Uh, is is it uh, is it something I can do or said now the problem here is she's emotional and it's driving him up into his head and he's hitting sitting here saying I really want to help because I love her but I can't figure out what's going on and they have a bigger issue they can't feel each other so he can't feel what's happening inside her and she can't explain it because it's just one big ball of emotions now he's going to really step in it. Um, is it that time of the month? Why would you assume that? Why, why is it every time that I have an emotion you want to ask? I don't ask you that all the time. I just, I don't know if you need any help. And I don't know, my back hurts now. Now my back hurts. I got to go sit down. And he goes this way and she goes this way. Now, this is some of the Pluto energy affecting the feminine. Very emotional. 
possibly weepy, possibly just where it wells up from you don't know where and it is coming from a place and it is coming from the solar plexus and you don't know how to get rid of it and you don't want to ruin things and you really don't mean anything bad and the other person may really want to help you and who do you rely on okay she's hoping for someone to come along and take it all away well no one's going to take it all away she has to work through it whatever it is there may be things that have been suppressed for a long time so if you have uh some other things that are going on with people Okay, you have a couple here, you have another couple, and things have been going kind of well, except it's now grinding to a halt, and they just don't know what to do. They're hitting the wall, and he's saying, I'm not sure if uh, this is really, is this really, like, are we going anywhere with this? I don't know. I don't know. Where do you want to go? I, I can't feel anything anymore. I just, I, I don't know. Well, maybe, I don't know. Do you want to start seeing other people? No, I don't, I don't. Why would you think that? I don't want to. And you see, they're starting to feel a bit stagnant, okay? Because that will even happen with twins when they're together. How do you bring about the feelings, the emotions, the passion. How do you build it and keep it lively, okay? Because sometimes twins will assume that the other one is bored. If they go in their head, they'll base it on old relationships. This is not a relationship, it's you two. How do you unify yourself? It is through your subtle bodies. That is what I know about, and that is what I teach, and that is what I help people with. And we don't rely on the head. The ego is insufficient to carry you to the fifth dimension. It just is. And he answers some other questions. Some people have been saying, are we going to have sex? Well, are you going to be limited to just 3D sex? Or are you going to be making the third energy? You're here to make a third energy. Okay? That's what the planet needs. That's what the planet needs. The planet needs the third energy of love. Are you going to be going to the fifth dimension without each other? No. Are you going to be going to the fifth dimension and then coming back and getting hammered? Are you going to be going to the fifth dimension and then coming back into a body and going, <sighs> okay? No. The answer is no. So, if you can be proactive about it, do it. If you struggle with that and you would like to, I have a webinar that is based upon getting rid of addictions and returning yourself to health so that you don't affect your angelic light body. Your twin flame body is not wanting to be connected to any old paradigm things anymore. And it's a very gradual process, but it is a distinct push next week. The accelerator is going to hit the metal again. And you can't expect to have some things happen. They're not all bad. Some of them are good. And some of you are expecting doom and gloom. But your body will need to get ready. And when I say your body, your metaphysical body is anchored to the human body. Your human body is for living here. There's two bodies. And then there's two people. So you have four concerns there. You have your body, you have your twins, you have the connection to your twins, higher self, and you have the connection to your higher self. So all of a sudden you go from just thinking about yourself to thinking about four things. And I'm going to say to you, don't think about it. Don't think. Okay? So I had quite a few really good signals lately. I had some really great stuff happen. Now, wherever you live, is there any community theater or high school theater or, you know, things that, that are just provide some entertainment? If not, uh, woe to you. 
get some culture in your life. But if you have it, check it out. I recently went to our local high school production of A Chorus Line. And let me tell you, I hear messages everywhere, but I like to share the messages I have. So the premise of the chorus line is that the whole show is about an audition to be in a show where there's a main character and everyone else is in the chorus line and they're backup dancers. So each character has a backstory where they tell a little bit about themselves. Now because this was a high school production, it was a bit toned down and yet um, it was very revealing. They were excellent. Those kids were fabulous. And it, it was just a reminder to me of when people are doing what they love, how they just shine. I mean, they were great. But one of the one of the backstories there for one of the characters was um, she was talking about how she loved to be a dancer. She just loved it because she could be free. And there was ballet and she was free. And she said something very revealing. I was born to save my parents' marriage. And I was like, whoa, that's some of this energy affecting the feminine. I was born to save my parents' marriage. Now, how many people, or maybe if you're the third child in the family or the fifth child, how many of you were born to save your own parents' marriage? Hmm? And did you feel that? Did you feel that? Are you trying to get pregnant to save a marriage that shouldn't be saved? Because babies aren't glue. So that's a part of this energy. I was hearing a part of it. We're going to be going through some of this until um, September. This is all about your subtle bodies. Up in the air means subtle connections to the higher areas of you, which is your spirit body and several of the other subtle bodies. It's also going to be your shadows, your demons, other people's shadows and demons. Weird stuff is going to pop out of the woodwork to show the hidden things. And within that, you have Saturn that um, started retro just a few days before Pluto to kind of bring it along in form. Okay, but what does this mean to you on an individual basis? That is what I help people with in sessions particularly doing energetic body work. You can um, find out more information in my Return of Your Life Daily Living in Multidimensionality that has a lot of information about menstrual cycles, testosterone cycles, what's going on with the body, why it hurts, how everything is connected inside you, because a lot of us have had disconnects. You know, this part doesn't work harmoniously with that part. You're, you're not only expecting upgrades. So a lot of people talk about that. Well, they got a download and I got an upgrade and something, something, something. And then it happened and I was tired. Okay. But what does it really mean? Come and find out. You're, you're a multidimensional person. Come find out about daily living in multidimensionality because you have to live here. And you're going to be visiting your life in the fifth dimension, especially if you have responsibility. So this covers quite a bit. I encompass quite a bit. I will be doing a live class in St. Louis in June. The information is on my website and I will be in Mexico in June. I plan to have a day for that. I am planning some other things for travel. Also, I have the Divine Masculine in Transition, Part 4. So if you missed Parts 1, 2, and 3, I provide that to you. But you can join for Part 4, which is on May 3rd, my evening. That is probably your morning in Australia, Asia, India. And uh, on the 5th at 9 a.m., it's the afternoon in Europe or evening, depending where you're at. So there's, there's quite a bit that's going to go on with this energy. And this is a push because, like it or not, there are some deadlines in the sky where things are expected to be accomplished by. You may not feel it. You may not want to put yourself on those particular deadlines. You may not even believe it because you might say, you know what, my twin rejected me. We talked about it, and I've got to go on with my life. Well, there's good news, though. The good news is 
that there are actually deadlines in the sky. That's what I'm calling it. Deadlines in the sky where you have certain things have to get accomplished by certain times this year. So when I told you at the beginning of the year that this year is going to be very different than last year, it is. Okay, and it's on and there's no going backwards. There's going to be a series of portals that are going to close behind you and it's going to um, be something that you'll be glad about. You're going to have a lot of emotions about it. You're going to have healings about it. And you're going to have to practice with your light body. And that's something that you should take my class for to find out how it is with your twin flame and how to get connected, how to deepen and start gearing up here for what's coming up. So we have the first half of the year, which we're not even through with the first half of the year. The second half of the year is going to bring a lot of things. So June isn't even a tipping point. It's a closure point. The solstice is going to be a closure point. Okay, so I'm not saying that to make you afraid. I'm saying that to make you expectant, where you can go, woohoo, we're finished with that. What, this? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't feel those feminine things anymore. I don't need any more of these. Okay, where you're starting to see how things are starting to culminate. And maybe right now you're flying a little bit blind. And you're not intended to really fly blind. You're intended to have your own guidance on this stuff because you're expected to make decisions that are important for your union, not the whole collective, not a group of souls that you originated with. So I define the collective as the group of souls that you originated with, not the twin flame community or the boards or the message boards or the Facebook groups or that's not what I mean. I mean your point of origin. So whether you identify as this, that, the other thing, you could call yourself angel, star seed, twin flame. Uh, you could even call yourself an alien. You could say, I'm not from here. I'm from someplace. You may know where you're from. It doesn't matter. There is one destination. There's one destination. Okay. So um, I had another. I had another inspiration from the musical that I saw the other day. And I really wanted to sing this song last year. And I'm going to sing a song here. So for those of you who don't care to listen, it's fine. Bye. But um, I'm going to go ahead and sing it. And it's, yeah, I know you've heard this before. It was written by Marvin Hamlish. And, you know, this goes way back. But I think it speaks a lot to this energy. Kiss today goodbye, the sweetness and the sorrow. Wish me luck the same to you, but I can't regret what I did for love, what I did for love. Look, my eyes are dry. The gift was ours to borrow. It's as if we always knew. And I won't forget what I did for love, what I did for love. Go. Kiss today goodbye and point me towards tomorrow. We did what we had to do. Won't forget, can't regret what I did for What I did for love, what I did 
So I hope that inspires you because that's my intention and I sing all the time. I sing in the car, I sing in the shower, I, I sing, I sing. It opens up the throat chakra. Sing to your twin. Be expressive. Feel things. That's who you are. The days are gone when you have to suppress, but the days are going where you feel vulnerable. You're here to be in love. You are a being that's in love. So enough of the commiserating, enough of the complaining. Once you've been shown that love, you're in it. You're in love again. No matter what garbage you're throwing out, no matter what behaviors, no matter what things that you may perceive that you're going through, you're in love and love will carry you home. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you for listening to my singing. I hope that you have a wonderful week. I hope to see you. Um, please join if you'd like to. We have a lot of fun. There's great questions. I open the floor to let people ask questions. And please look up some songs and play the songs and let the creative side of you come out. Okay? Give yourself permission Okay, that's something that everyone does. Give yourself permission and I hope to um, be back with some more videos to let you know what's going on. There's a heck of a lot more I cover in my webinars. I talk about supplementation, what to do. We go through a channel opening exercise and we end with a lucid merge meditation with your twin flame so that the diamond light codes that are coming to you can be fully integrated and opened and connected. So that is my focus. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Okay. Bye.